Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back, and make sure to subscribe for daily updates. So today's smartphone have some features which no other smartphone on the face of the earth has. Yes, this phone beats fifteen hundred dollar smartphones. So to start with, smartphones run on battery. Wow, Leakster, big news, right? Yeah, well, guys, that's what you get if you follow me. Knowledge bombs, man, knowledge bombs. Who could have thought that smartphones run on battery? Wow, that's a new low even for me. But the real thing is that smartphone batteries are not progressing on the same way as other technology on a smartphone is. The M30 and M20 series have 6000 mAh batteries, which is really legendary, and those 6000 mAh batteries looks puny in front of what the Galaxy M41 is going to have. Earlier it was rumored that Samsung will be killing the M41 in favor of the M51, but the M41 is back and oh boy is it back with a bang. So without any further ado, let's talk. The Galaxy M41 will come with 7000 mAh of battery capacity. Let that sink in for a minute. 7000 mAh. This is 7 with 3 zeros behind it. That's more than double of what my 2 year old flagship Galaxy S9 Plus has. I really don't think that I have ever seen a smartphone with this big battery. I have seen flagships like S20 Ultra with 5000 mAh, Rogue Phone 2 with 6000 mAh and M series with 6000 mAh, but never have I seen something this massive. Although I do remember that I made a video almost a year ago about a phone which had I think 11000 mAh. It was something of a energizer phone, but that phone was not really a phone. That was literally a smartphone attached on top of a power bank and look at this size it was humongous. However, the Galaxy M41 will be sized normally and it will have average thickness. Here's the actual battery module which will be powering the M41. It says that 6800 mAh is the rated capacity, but the actual capacity is generally more than rated capacity. So if it's rated at 6800 then the actual capacity will be 7000 mAh. This will also be the very first Samsung smartphone to not use a Samsung Made OLED display. Till today every single Samsung smartphone had a Samsung Made OLED panel and this M41 will feature a OLED panel made by China Star. Samsung took this step of switching OLED display maker to save money, but that pops a question. Hey Leakster, is this going to be a bad display? Honestly guys, I don't think so. The display might not be at the exact same level of awesomeness as the Samsung display, but the difference will be so small that you won't ever be able to notice it. But the money Samsung will save using China Star OLED panel will be much more significant compared to the sacrifices if any they are making with this display. It's a punch hole display just like the M40. At the back we have a dedicated physical fingerprint scanner. So rejoice, you old farts. This back panel looks like glass but it will be plastic and the frame is indeed made up of metal. Still to mention these are M51 renders which is most likely going to be renamed as M41 unless they make a completely new M41 which could also happen. So these renders take it with a pinch of salt. What really makes me wonder is this really a M41 is that this phone has a headphone jack. I'm happy about it but M40 did not have a headphone jack. So either Samsung is bringing back the headphone jack or these are not M41 renders which they are not meant to be they were meant to be M51 and now it's creating a little bit of confusion there is no official release date about this beast but the M40 was announced on 11th of July so M41 is due really soon let me know guys your thoughts in the comment section about the massive 7000 mAh battery and make sure to subscribe for more videos on this smartphone hit that like button if you enjoyed follow me on twitter for some memes i guess and thanks for watching